Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com and here on YouTube you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is my latest tutorial. This is a how to make a medieval billhook. Look at that. This is foam board. Although it looks like, um, you can use cardboard, although it looks like steel, huh? Kind of cool. And this is an axe handle that I bought at the Home Depot and I think it was $13. It's just a little something different that we haven't done before. Use a real wooden handle to make a tool. Um, the bill hook, I'll talk a little bit about a bill hook, but if you follow my Facebook channel page, you know that I stumbled across this, right, this steel weapon here, and I've been working it in the forge, and that is an upcoming video. Uh, let me talk a little bit about bill hooks. Uh, they're a modified kind of weapon in medieval times. They would have these tools called bush axes, sometimes they'd call them sling blades, for farming. And it's great for clearing brush. But when a, you know, when a peasant or a farmer went to war, he would modify that a little bit to turn it into something called a bill hook. And this could be on a short handle, or it could be on a pole arm, a very long handle. So it has a lot of swinging power, and it also has some pulling power because of the hook. You can hook things with it, right? Thus, the bill hook, and the bill of a, some kind of a bird. Uh, so it's an interesting thing. I give you the template, everything you need to make this up. Uh, let's talk a little bit on my YouTube channel here. I do two new videos every week if you're a subscriber. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not, hit that button. Uh, always lots of fun and interesting stuff. All right. Uh, let me see. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Give me a project suggestion. I thank you very much. Let's do the intro and then let's do how to make a medieval bill hook. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, print up the template. It is the link for the web page where this is at is in the description of this video down below. And cut out the pieces. There are four pieces. Easy template. Now take pieces one and two and put them together like this and tape them. There you go, now you have the completed blade. And then put them on foam board or cardboard and trace them out. Make two of them. And then cut them out. Now glue them together, and you can use um, hot glue is the best because it's fast and easy. Uh, or you can use a you know a plain old white glue if you want. It just takes a little time for it to dry. And then sand everything kind of smooth. Those cut edges are a little rough, so sand it smooth. Just the edges. So now let's make the um, tabs that are going to hold this to the handle. Uh, a box of cereal, empty box of cereal, and take those two inserts like that and put them on there. Trace them out and then cut them out. And they're different sizes, so keep track of one and the other. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things here. There's a few different ways you can do this, but what's going to happen is you can actually just glue them on like this. The large one up towards the top there and the small one here. But there are some variations to this depending on you know what you're going to use as a handle. Like we used an axe handle that I bought at Home Depot. I think it was $13. And it's really nice for this. See it? So how you glue those on will make a difference. You could make everything, it's kind of easier, and paint it all before you put the handle on. And I'll show you how to adapt to that. And here's a, this is a sledgehammer handle. Or you can actually put the handle there and then wrap it around and then keep the whole assembly together while you work on it some more. But see, it's going to make a difference how you put those flaps, those... Um, flaps and make a difference depending on what kind of um, you know a handle you use and that's just a, an inch and a half dowel so now we're gonna continue on this way and uh, you can paper mache those those flanges or you can use um, plaster cloth plaster cloth is real easy and it, it looks good Uh, if you want to buy some plastic cloth, I have a link. I'll have a link on the tutorial for that. And uh, you know, do the inside of those hoops too, those flanges.
And you don't have to worry about being too exact because you, we're going to sand this down. See, so that's the small flange and now the large flange. But like I said, you could actually put the, put the handle there, fold those flanges over so it's a custom fit, and then um, glue them and then plaster them and, and all as one assembly. It just makes it a little more awkward to handle and carry and whatnot. And then you'll sand it down smooth. So now there's a beveled edge on the inside of this thing. And we want to put that edge on there. And you can do that with sandpaper. So now one, another thing you can do is, see this is a nice fit for the top here. But of course the, the thick end of that axe handle won't fit through the small hoop. So you can cut it and then patch it up later if you want. At the point it comes you want to assemble it. But that does look good like that. And that's the axe handle. That's what we ended up going with. Or, you know, you can do it this way, like I was saying earlier. You can put the axe handle there, fold the flaps over, and custom fit it, or make that first flap large enough so you can squeeze it, so it'll fit through like this. Yep, and we'll glue it later so it'll be nice and tight. So now you can take the axe handle out and work on it. There's your choice. So let's paint this thing up. Give it a coat of a white primer. White paint is fine for priming. And then we're going to use a, a Mod Podge matte. The matte is important. Don't use a gloss on this. There's an, and this little process here for painting is if you want it to have a nice kind of like metallic look. And it really comes out good. It has a metallic look. And then we paint it on a black. Now that black has a little bit of gray and a little bit of green added to it. And you'd be surprised how just that little bit of a tint changes the black. Just gives it like a metallic look. And then draw your line where you want the bevel of your edge to go, where, where it is already. Just so you can see it better. And then paint that edge. Touch it up with a little detail work if you want a nice crisp edge on it. Now we're going to age it a little bit. And we're doing that with a gray wash. A very small amount of gray with water. Like this. And then we wash that on. And it really changes it. It, gives it, it ages it a bit. It gives it a good look. That's a washing technique. We're washing on a very light coat of gray. And that's after everything else is dry. And then the final step is we're going to seal it with the um, high gloss Mod Podge sealant. You know, all these steps are optional. You paint it any way you want. But this is the process that we found look, works really good to make it look very metallic. This thing looks, you swing it around and it looks like it's steel. People think it's steel until they realize it, how easy it is to swing around. So let's finish it up. Put your handle in it, whatever handle you had decided to use, and glue it in. And I'm telling you, you, you as a peasant are ready, or a farmer are ready to go off to war, fight the evil bad guys. So put, use plenty of hot glue in there. You don't want that thing to go flying off if you're swinging it around. And be careful with this thing. Don't, don't hit your little brother with it. <laughs> so, I mean, we put plenty of hot glue in all the different spaces on it. It was really nice. Just to make sure it held really tight. You know, I, I kind of liked uh, buying a pre-made handle for this. I'm going to think I'm going to do some more pole arms and stuff like this. You know, I just picked up a few handles, and that's it. There you go. You have a medieval bill hook. And I have a steel one that I am working on. That is a video coming up. i got a bunch of other stuff coming up, too, including um, the next knife is almost done. It's a fighting knife. You're going to like it. Just going to take it out to the forge and finish it up. So here's a couple other projects. How about the Hammer of Thor made out of foam? Or a cardboard samurai sword, katana? Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Send me, um, uh, give me a comment. Leave me some project suggestions. Thank you very much.